just talk about that, that Panther period, that all that time on Georgia Tech. How much, what, what was it like every day working on that stuff? How much did it really help you guys? I mean, it was definitely, it's definitely a, a good, a good thing to work on. It's not something we see all the time. Um, kind of practicing it last year, you know, saw some stuff like being here last year and traveling with the team, practicing with the team, um, seeing that stuff. You know, it was definitely, it's definitely necessary to have that period, just work on that stuff. It's not something we usually see with every team. So, you're a guy that made the transition from defensive back to linebacker, but that linebacker position play, you do a lot of coverage most of the time. Yeah. How different is your role going to be against an option team? I mean, um, our defense is really, it's, it's run first with the linebackers. Like, run is the main thing. That's what we're trying to stop, you know? So, um, I do do a lot of coverage because a lot of the teams, spread teams, they want to throw the ball, you know? And that's just, that kind of role is both, you know, both sides of it. But mainly a run run defense, and that's just what we do is run first when in doubt, so. Well, that's going to be a pretty big change for you this week. It's going to be almost no coverage at all. Yeah, I mean that's not that's not bad at all. I mean, that's something I'm ready for. I feel good about, so I feel pretty good. Yeah. How challenging is it? The song is triple option. Um, it's just something different, you know. It's not it's not exactly like. I mean, it's it's definitely different. Um, I mean that's really just the main thing. It's not something you see all the time. Like I said, it's just it's just going at it. I mean, there's a lot of magic being done behind the behind the line. So it's like. A lot of stuff you gotta look at, but really just having honest eyes, you know, good technique and everything like that, all that stuff comes into play. They're specialists at what they do, they do it all the time, every day. You know what I'm saying? It's not something we do every day, so that's what makes it so different for us. Is you have more video study this week than maybe other weeks? I mean, yeah, probably we probably got more cut ups, I would think. You know, I came into that, I'm probably gonna watch it after this, but you know, a lot more cut ups and stuff, trying to like work see the little things, whatever we can get, you know, to really defeat this this team. Guys, been watching a lot of film from last year, Georgia Tech, the Navy games. Yeah, yeah, there. definitely. That's all. That's all on there. You know, um, it's pretty much just whatever we can get. You know, just try to beat the team. You know, little little things that we got from last year. You know, we got some seniors who are back here now as seniors. Um, whatever we can get from them, whatever information we can get about these teams, and you know, that can help me, especially being a new starter. You know, to. To play better, you know, little, just little things that could help. You know, I'm just trying to learn, and get coached up on it. So. What are they saying was, was the big, biggest problem last year? With this? It's really just like not trying to do too much and really doing your job and trusting your team teammates. You know, to do their part as well when you do yours. Everything just coming together. You know, what I'm saying that's the main thing. Not trying to do too much. Was it frustrating to look back on the film from Saturday and see kind of? How Marshall was able to run the ball on you guys at times? Yeah, definitely. I mean, first half, we're pitching a shutout, and it's just like everything's going really well. You know, we were fired. I mean, I felt pretty fired up going back in the locker room. The team sounded fired up. So it was like we were going to go out and just dominate for the whole game. You know, when, when that stuff started to kind of break down, we were kind of like, what's going on here? You know, I, I was trying to look to the side. Some of my teammates like, what's going on? But also trying to keep it cool and like, hey, we're going to be all right. You know, just keep playing. Let's do what we did in the first half and try to get back together, you know, just get this thing right. How big of a stretch is you guys recognize, obviously, the, the pursuit they, uh, for the conference championship? You guys are entering a big stretch here. Is that, you guys, uh, obviously, you guys are aware of that. Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of getting in a competitive mode, you know. Like, this is big time play. These, these are great teams we're going up against, you know. So, and this is this is where it really, you know, really, really counts for to get to the goal of what we want. So it's just time to really lock in even more than we have throughout the season and just keep trying to progress every every week. What do you remember about facing this team last year? It was Georgia Tech. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't on the field too much as far as defense, but you know, going through the game plan, there was there was a lot of work put in. I remember it was an intense week, intense practice. You know, that was the main thing. It's just a lot of it's a lot of stuff going on. So it's a big week. You know, it's a real big week. Players on Georgia Tech's offense in particular, anything you got to focus on? Is Stock Keon more than anyone else? I mean, uh, their fullback, of course. Um, you know, they got some, they got some fast slot guys. You know, pretty much just like, pretty much that's it. You know, all of them, they're, they're all specialists. You know, that's what they do. Like I said, it's what they do every, every, every day of the week. So you know, it's just being able to like defend that better than they can run it. You know, and that's hard, but something we can do. Sure, being a mind reader, you have to watch certain keys. Quarterback, what kind of things does he do that might tip off the play? 
Oh, no, I mean, sometimes you look on the film, there's certain signals, you know, like even trying to get like the snap count, little things like that, just to time up stuff, you know, if we're running anything specific to it. So it's a little stuff like that, little signals, whatever it is that they do, communication between them and also communication between us that we can, you know, better, you know, in that, in that sense to kind of understand what's going on. Little, um, like an inch here with a step that they have and an inch anywhere else. It's just like the difference between this play and this play. So that's what you just got to be able to recognize. You know, a lot of stuff is just reads, having good eyes. So being able to lock in on those little things is going to help a lot. The trends that they do before the snap tips off the play? I mean, sometimes, but also it's really the stuff like during the play, like when the playoff starts, it's like it's like a step that, that changes an arc block between an arc block and a release, and that's just a couple inches. You know, it's not, it's not too much, but you got to be able to lock in on those little things, real small things.